Hey guys. All right, today I figured we'd do a project that I used to get a lot of requests for in, cl in the classroom, and I still do quite a lot, and I try to do at least once or twice a year. For this, I'm gonna use a trusty paint set. Just need a brush, doesn't matter what size, and a straw. Don't worry, I will recycle this thing, and I will make sure it doesn't end up up some poor trickle's nose. Okay, the That's idea. Like a turtle? Uh, turtle. So we're going to do some blow paint and I kind of drew myself and it made it look like I have giant exploding clown hair going straight up. I don't like the way I look when I wake up in the morning except for the color, you know, it's usually just kind of all like. Another thing you can do is make these kind of cool creepy looking old tree kind of things. This could also work for fireworks. I've done this uh, to make really weird backgrounds behind drawings that I didn't know what else to do with. Um, all kinds of stuff. All right, so let's see. I'm gonna, so I'm going to draw a really quick sketch here. I'll do this with a sharpie. Um, I'm just going to do the goofy hair one again because it's fun. So again, I've done this a lot. Don't feel like you have to do it at the same speed. I'm doing it, and I'm doing it fast because I don't want this video to be 25 minutes long. Okay, so stuff in the ear, go up on the nose, some eyebrows. Oh, chin beard. There. That's my cook's. You might not be able to see it, but that's my cook's skirt. There you go. So, and there's mine. Okay. Can you use the straw too? Uh, why don't you grab your own? Because it's probably not a good idea, especially right about now, to be sharing germs. All right, so I got my brush nice and wet. I'm going to pick a color. It could be a silly color. It could be a normal color. So it shows up really well. I'm going to use a dark, dark color. I guess this looks like purple hair day. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a splotch of color and then take my straw and remember to blow out, not suck in. I make that comment every time because you don't want to end up with a mouthful of paint. And then sometimes you see these globs you get at the top there. If you shake the straw around while you're blowing, you can get really crazy effects. And I mean, this doesn't look like hair anymore. This looks just absolutely ridiculous, but that's also part of the fun. So, a lot of paint. Make sure you have a newspaper or something underneath, especially if you're doing this on the kitchen table or the dining room table. I don't. Well, there you go. Now, can you put some newspaper underneath first? Thanks, bud. I think I'm going to mix in some other colors, too, just for fun. Yeah, I need to yeah. Get it wet. Yep, right. You got to have it wet so it can flow. If it's not wet, it's not going to really go anywhere. Blow hard. Why don't you bring that over so you can here? Let's put that in the middle of us so you can reach it too. Doesn't need to be over right on my side. Okay, this is starting to look pretty out of control. Now I could let this dry and I could actually finish drawing the rest of my head and just have this be a really cool effect in the background. I could just leave it like a really goofy, crazy haircut. Um, whatever. Now that this one is mostly dry, let me set that aside. Then I can go through and if I want this to be like a summery tree, I can just get a couple of globs of green on my brush and start patting in some leaves. You can still see my branches, which I always like to show my branches in my trees. And you can also fill in some of this extra white space. And this looks like slightly less of a creepy tree and now just like a like a windy old kind of like climbing tree that might be in the backyard or even like an apple orchard. Just like a, an old tree with a lot of branches and some sparse leaves floating around. Kind of thing of, you know, like the climb in the afternoon on a summer day. You may not be able to see that very well, but... Here we go. So this is just a fun technique. Um, if you are blowing into the straw really hard and you start seeing spots or you start feeling weird, stop, take a break, take a bunch of deep breaths, don't overdo it. You can give yourself a headache doing this if you're not careful. 
I'm speaking from experience. All right, so this can just be kind of a fun way to make your paint do something you normally wouldn't get it to do. Watercolor is really, really um, highly recommended because anything thicker is gonna be really hard to move around with a straw. Um, so that craft paint that we use a lot, probably not best for today. But see if you have maybe one of those art sets you can get um, or you have just some watercolor paint or one or two colors even. Give it a shot. All right, guys. So we hope you are doing well. We're thinking about everybody. Looking forward to when we can see everybody again. And um, yeah, stay creative.